Let's speak about Rocket Lab, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And today we're speaking about a mini space x a lot of you guys are probably aware of who these guys are they're obviously a space related company they are often compared to spacex to date they have placed 97 satellites into orbit already the spac merger values the company at 4.1 billion dollars as of this moment in time and the new company will have roughly 750 million dollars of cash on their balance sheet once this merger goes through obviously funding future growth a launch window opens for their next mission titled They Go Up So Fast Today as you watch this video. And they're currently trading in around $12 a share. So in today's video, we're going to speak about this company. A lot of you guys will be aware that I really do like space related companies with a long term outlook. As of right now, we're investing in Virgin Galactic, we're in SFTW and we're also in SRAC. All of them very long term outlooks. But also companies who are a little bit behind in all honesty in regards to a company like Rocket Lab or SpaceX. And when it does come to the space industry, I've said it in the past many times, I think there's going to be some huge winners. But I also do think ultimately some of these companies aren't going to perform very well. So I do like being diversified in this industry. But in today's video, we're going to be speaking about this article right here. And we're going to have a little look through their investor presentation because of course there's going to be some juicy information in there. So my friends, right before we do get into today's video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button. Drop me a comment down below. I'm interested if you guys are interested in this company. How many of you guys have bought already? And please my friends, if you are indeed new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button and join the family of investors. Also, if you are interested in joining my private Discord group, that is the first link in the description in there you get access to all of my buy and sell alerts. You also get access to over 50 private channels. You join a community of a couple of thousand investors. It is juicy. And if you like two free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. You gotta sign up, deposit $100. You get some free money for yourself. So with that being said, we're actually gonna start it off in this article because it gives us a good understanding of, you know, what the company is and where they actually stand today. The title being Rocket Lab is a mini SpaceX that investors can buy today. I think it goes without saying that if SpaceX was a publicly traded company, that is where a lot of investors who are interested in the industry would be putting a lot of their money. So kind of being able to invest in any company that's somewhat comparable to SpaceX is an exciting idea. So there's many similarities between these two companies. Rocket, for instance, plans to sell space-based services from its own constellation of internally built satellites. SpaceX plans to offer high-speed internet access from space using its own Starlink satellites. Rocket Lab is focused on vertical integration, and that's a very, very important part that is brought up a couple of times in their investor presentation. The company wants to have its own launch capabilities, operate its own satellites, and provide services to other customers. Rocket Lab is an end-to-end -end space company, the CEO has said. Rocket Lab and SpaceX are the only private companies delivering launches today. So that's the primary basis for this comparison. Since its founding in 2014, Rocket Lab has completed 18 launches of space and deployed 97 satellites into orbit on behalf of more than 20 customers, NASA making the list. It has a total of three launch pads in Virginia and New Zealand, each of which can handle 44 launches a year, so it already has quite the capacity. Rocket Lab's in-use Electron rocket is for launching relatively small satellites into space. Its next planned vehicle is to be called Neutron, which will be a medium lift rocket with an 8 ton payload capacity. That will be a direct competitor to SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, and when people speak about rockets, the Falcon 9 is what comes up more than pretty much anything. Both of these have reusable components, which reduce the cost and turnaround time of launch. So yes, pretty much on paper, a direct competition to SpaceX. But I think we all know at this stage, especially when it does come to these innovative, you know, industries, there's generally more than just one company towards the top. There's not generally a monopoly. Then Rocket Lab's third product is a satellite already orbiting Earth called, naturally, Photon. The company has plans to send it to the Moon, Mars and Venus. That's a turnkey satellite solution designed and launched by Rocket Lab to save customers time and cost. They also refer to it as satellite as a service. So SpaceX was most recently valued at $74 billion. That's why people are getting excited about this company at the $4 billion valuation point. Because obviously SpaceX is the bigger company, okay, and I think we all expect them to be the biggest company. But again, like we were just speaking about, there's room to make money in multiple companies in the same industry. It doesn't have to just be the leader. I mean, look at Tesla, obviously, you make a lot of money there. Then you can look at the likes of Neo, etc., where people have made an awful lot of money as well. Now from there we can go over to the investor presentation and I don't actually want to start at the beginning with this one, I want to start at the financial model summary. So we can look at their historical and projected revenues. 
So current bookings for 2021 represent 90% of forecast revenue and existing customer relationships, frequency of repeat business and active opportunity pipeline of about $2.2 billion provide confidence in a long-term plan. So you can see 2020, nothing crazy. Even 2021, nothing crazy. But you can see some really nice compound annual growth rates happening here. And I mean really, really nice. And as is generally the case with these space related companies, you have to be willing to look four to five years down the line to see some real big money coming in. And it's no different with Rocket Lab. That is why to me, if I am to invest in this company, it most certainly will be with the long term outlook. And if they are to operate and if they are to perform as expected, I do think it will ultimately end up being a fantastic long term investment that with at least a two, three year outlook. Their adjusted EBITDA break even is expected in 2023. Now, if this is to become true, that's going to be fantastic. That timeline is genuinely very, very good. Look at what it was back in 2018, 2019, 2020. Look at the EBITDA margins. They've been terrible. So if it does end up being 2023, which again, these are projections, it would be very good. And then significant free cash flow generation driven by adjusted EBITDA growth and minimal expertise capital expenditure. That's always something you love to see. Then you can see our unlevered free cash flow starts to look good in 2024. So again, I do think it's important to be going at this one with that long-term investing outlook. Now, a few more just quick fire facts. Obviously, you know, this article here brought us through a lot of it, but right here, in under six years, okay, 18 launches of space and 97 satellites. The three launch pads, the second most frequently launched US rocket, obviously right behind the Falcon 9 from SpaceX. Two mission control centers, seven successful missions for USG customers, one strategic acquisition already, two factories built, one of their own satellites on orbit, one recovered rocket, three interplanetary missions scheduled and one awarded propellant depot mission on orbit for NASA. Obviously, everybody loves to see NASA when these space companies. And so the reason I've decided to cover this video today is because of this, their next mission, they go up so fast. The launch window begins today as you watch this video, March 23rd. Now, obviously, this is a window. That does not mean that the next mission has to happen today. We've seen this with Virgin Galactic, you know, the launch window opens. Oftentimes, it doesn't happen that same day and some people sell with the expectation of buying in cheaper. But you will see that there's a live broadcast of the mission will be available on launch day and people love these things, myself included. So this is their 19th Electron mission. will deploy a range of satellites for commercial and government satellite operators as well as place a next generation Rocket Lab photon spacecraft in orbit to build spacecraft heritage ahead of Rocket Lab's mission to the moon for NASA later this year. This is an exciting mission for the company. Seven satellites feature on the mission manifest. Look, one of them from Black Sky, another company we're invested in. I am excited to see what happens here in all honesty. Now, one more thing I'd like to point out is that this is still a SPAC, you know what I mean? The, the acquisition has not gone through yet and they're trading at right around $12 a share. So there is inherently minimal downside as of right now. It's not risk-free by any means. You could lose $2 a share before the merger goes through, but it's not terrible especially considering the market conditions we're in right now. We all know there's a lot of volatility. We all know the Fed speaking an awful, awful lot as of late. We know Jerome Powell's been making some big moves happen. So to have something that you can invest in that has this much long-term potential and does have controlled downside is always a little bit of an added bonus in my eyes. I mean, it's sub 20% risk right now. So if you're somebody who is looking to get some money into the market, you're not looking to go too risky in this short term and you are looking to be a long-term investor, you know, this could be a good opportunity for you or a lot of those other SPACs out there around you know the 10 to 12 dollar mark but keep an eye on these guys i think a lot of hype and we're going to get a lot of media attention now from this mission okay just because of the mission itself but also keep in mind there's seven satellites featuring on the mission so we could get you know some extra news from any of these companies involved but my friends that's my initial thought on rocket lab i am still doing more research obviously do go and look through that entire investor presentation if you are interested but i do think it's a very interesting company if you watch this video all the way till the end you my friend are a true legend and i really do appreciate you being here from the bottom of my heart your support means the world to me if you did enjoy the video could i please ask you to hit that juicy like button drop me a comment down below and please my friend subscribe if you're new around here all of that helps me out so much if you are interested in joining that private discord group again that's the first link in the description it's an awesome community and if you like those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link anyway guys i hope you all have a beautiful blessed day i'll see you for another video very soon peace